one and action! <laughs> hey guys, so this week we are going to be talking all about trip planning. Uh, I'm actually sitting here where Brandon normally does all of his work, uh, planning some of our trips because, well, normally I like to be outside with my iPad. It's about 105 degrees out, and I don't know if you're in a heat wave, but we are, and so we're inside. Um, but today we're going to be talking about our top five trip planning apps because, while I know coronavirus has kind of put a dent probably in a lot of your plans, maybe even canceled them, but it makes it so it's a perfect time to plan where you're going next. So let's dive right into what apps I found super helpful for planning trips. The first app that I use uh, for trip planning will probably come as a surprise to a lot of you. It is Pinterest. Yes, the app that everyone uses for recipes and for finding the best way to decorate for your parties and all your DIY projects. I use it for that too, but it's actually a great trip planning app. So there are so many posts of uh, blogs and lists that people who have already traveled to these areas have put together in regards to best hike in an area, best free things to do. And how I really start with this app is just typing in the city that I want to go to and diving right in. There's so many different avenues that you can go to with this and I really find myself spending hours on this app and I found some really cool spots that we've visited and you know that's kind of just how I start all my trip planning. It's a great hub for finding all the things to do in a place because there's a lot of information out there so this kind of brings it all together in one place. So we go on a lot of hikes whenever we're going somewhere and there's actually two apps that I use for trip planning in regards to hiking and outdoor activities. One is All Trails. So if any of you guys do hike, you probably have All Trails downloaded on your phone. If you don't, you need to have it. Uh, it's a great way to find hikes in the area and they give information on them in regards to how long the hike is, elevation gain, uh, if dogs are allowed, you know, that's super important for us. And what I find most helpful from this app too is actually the comment section. So it, you can go through and see what people have said about the hike in regards to the weather, parking, and it's actually really helped us to know, all right, this trail has a really small parking lot, so we have to go in the morning. Or I've been on there and three days ago someone posted, trail is still snow covered, wasn't able to make it to the top. So we decided to do that another day. So All Trails is definitely one of my top apps uh, that I use when planning a trip. The other one is actually a National Parks app. Uh, it used to be run by REI, but I think now when you go to download it, it's the Adventure Projects app. And this lists everything to do in every single national park in the U.S. So this app is super helpful, especially when we went to Yosemite and the Redwoods. And so on this app, it lists all the trails. Um, it also lists specific gems in the park, so different lookout points or just special highlighted uh, areas in the park that most people like to visit, which is super helpful because most of these national parks are massive and it's a great way to be able to kind of narrow in to what you want to do and make sure you get to see the most of the national park in the time that you have. So once you have everything figured out that you're going to do in an area, you need to figure out where you're going to stay. Now, we use the app Campendium a lot. We like to boondock, and this app actually will give you free spots to park your RV or to tent camp, so it's not just for people who RV. Uh, we have found some pretty cool boondocking spots. One in our particular favorite was up in Bend, Oregon, which is a fairly big city, and we actually found a free camping spot probably about 10 minutes away from the center of the city so super close and this app is really great because you just type in where you're going and it brings up all of the state park areas the areas out there is free camping most of these last for 14 days that you're allowed to stay there and once you click on an area it gives you the specs of it in regards to how many spots there are how big of a rig can fit in there 
and comments from people that have stayed there before. So it's a great way to find somewhere free to stay. We love free things. And definitely one to download if you like to tent camp or traveling in an RV. So the last app I'm gonna talk about is actually the one that we use the most, which is Google Maps. Uh, not only do we use it for directions, which we definitely plan all of our trips, and one of the nice features on Google Maps too is that you can download and save directions. So we use that feature a lot more traveling in case we're gonna be losing uh, service anywhere or for a national park and we're not gonna have service. But we also use Google Maps for finding different restaurants and points of interest and even places to stay. Which, so a lot of people might not use Google Maps to find places to eat because there's a lot of other things like Yelp, um, but we found it just super helpful and is our kind of our go-to. We'll just type in restaurants or type in a specific food and read the reviews of the places that come up. We like to try a lot of different um, restaurants in an area and we'll kind of hop around and that is just super helpful with Google Maps because what we'll do is when we're planning on going to an area, we'll pre-look it up and then we'll hit save on anywhere we kind of want to go. So then when we're there, we just pull up Google Maps and say, oh look, we have five places saved around here, let's go check them all out. And it's a great way to kind of pre-plan and have like a little area mapped out before you even get there. So those are my top five apps that I use when trip planning, but it's definitely not a be all end all. There's so much information out there, so many different apps, and I would love to hear from you guys what your favorite apps are that you use because if any of you guys have been following us along, you know that I love planning and I would love for more ways to plan our trips. <laughs> but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope you guys got some good new apps to download and, you know, enjoy your trip planning. And we'll see you guys next week. That's a wrap, everyone. Good work. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Is it rolling? No, it's okay. What? Second half. No, no, no. No, no, no. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. I did. I don't really like this. I don't like that. I don't like starting with so. Okay. So. Oh. Oh. I don't like this. I don't know.